My name is Zoe Dutton, and this is my project for CDY's Mean Genes. My teacher is Mrs. Cox. Today I'm going to talk about Marfan Syndrome, also known as MFS. Marfan Syndrome is a genetic disorder of the connective tissue. It is a rare and fatal disease. The symptoms of Marfan Syndrome are visual difficulties, a thin body frame, enlargement of the aorta, and for some, an abnormally curved spine, and extreme nearsightedness. As you can imagine, it makes sense when we learn that some basketball players have Marfan syndrome because of their exceptional height. Sadly, one out of 5,000 people in the world have Marfan syndrome. This is 0.02% of the general population. To diagnose Marfan syndrome, doctors use a blood test that looks for changes in the FBN1 gene, which encodes the, fi the fibrillin 1 protein. Fibrillins are large structural macromolecules that contribute to the integrity and function of all connective tissues. So you can imagine what would happen if there is a problem with encoding fibrillin 1 protein properly, since multiple diseases can result because multiple organs can be affected, as this gene controls all connective tissues. Marfan syndrome is an autosomal dominant disease, which means you only need one abnormal copy of the Marfan gene from only one of your parents to get the disease. 75% of people with Marfan syndrome got it from their parents. The remaining 25% got it as a result of a mutation of their own DNA. It is possible to manage this disease, but it cannot be cured. There are treatments for the various symptoms. These treatments can include medications to keep blood pressure low, eyeglasses, or contact lessons and even surgery. People with Marfan syndrome have an average life expectancy of up to 70 years. This is 25% higher than it was in 1972. This is because scientists have found a way to help in the management of the cardiovascular manifestations of this syndrome. This has been the cause of a significant decrease in the death rate of people with Marfan syndrome. Marfan syndrome affects men and women of all races and ethnic groups. It is equally present in males and females, ethnic groups, and around the world. It does not always develop during childhood and may not be diagnosed until teenage years. Here are some famous people with MFS. Jonathan Larson, an American composer who won the Pulitzer Prize. Everyone knows who Julius Caesar is. Michael Phelps is the most decorated swimmer in the world. Jonathan Jean is a famous basketball player. And who could forget Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States? Okay, Zoe, um, thank you. Your presentation has been very informative and I've learned a few things. But to help out non-science folks like me, can you tell us more, what are connective tissues? Well, I'd be glad to explain that to you, Mon. It's very simple, actually. Connective tissues are fibers that hold the organs in your body together. If it wasn't working properly, you can imagine how many problems that would cause to the eyes, the heart, the skin, the lungs, and etc. Let's take the heart, for example. Marfan syndrome causes something called mitral valve prolapse. That is when the mitral valves in the heart um, are floppy, weak, and unable to close properly. This means that the blood will be flowing backwards and it can, ca and it can cause many things such as heart palpitations, chest pain, and fatigue. Mm, all right, that's helpful. Um, so yeah, that can be good, right? If blood is flowing backwards in the wrong direction, right? Yeah. Okay, thanks Thanks for explaining that. I think I have one more question, but I have to take a look at my notes. I'll be back. Okay. Okay, Zoe, so can you tell us more about the FBN1 gene? Of course, I'd be glad to. Basically, what the FBN1 gene does is it gives a set of instructions to create a protein called fibrillin-1. This is the fibrillin 1 protein. It goes out into the extracellular matrix. 
and the and these are only found between cells. Now after they bond with other fibrillin ones and some other proteins. This creates microfibrils. Microfibrils are elastic fibers that that help with the skin, functioning ligaments, and blood vessels. Even the heart, yeah. Yeah, even the heart. So microfibrils are often seen in bones, eyes, and nerves, and and they act sort of like connective tissues, if you think about it. So inside these microfibrils are transforming growth factor beta is a those so so when they are stored inside of a microfibril they they are torn they're turned off and that means that they work how they're supposed to they don't they don't make the human grow excessively tall whether as if they're floating outside of the microfibril they will do what they're not supposed to when they're turned on which means that the human will grow excessively tall and may not stop until a few years after the supposed time. All right. Thanks for explaining that. Um, it's a complex subject, but I'm glad that you were able to explain it to me. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. Okay. Thanks. So here are some facts I read up on about Marfan syndrome. Antoine Marfan discovered um, Marfan syndrome when he was in, when he was looking at a five year old girl with extremely long fingers. Um, February is Marfan syndrome awareness month. Pulling a tooth can kill someone with Marfan syndrome because infections can occur very quickly with people with this disorder. Sixty three percent of people with Marfan syndrome have unusually long fingers. Marfan syndrome is one of a whopping 7,000 rare disorders. 51% of people with Marfan syndrome have loose or, or flexible joints. People with Marfan syndrome have an increased rate of pneumo pneumothorax. And people, and just a, a side fact, people with Marfan syndrome usually have crowded teeth. Okay.